it just hit me. I've been cruising along just fine, enjoying myself, and today I said enough. <laughs> I am officially sick of the desert for the season. I moved a few days ago from the location that I'd been at for quite a while, and I thought, oh, I might just go back. I'm just going to do some shopping, but instead I'm like, I'm done. I want to see a tree. <laughs> I want cooler weather, maybe that's part of it. It was 80, I think, today, and it's gonna be up to 87 in a couple days. Sun's setting. Yeah, uh, so I'm ready to mosey. All right, the time has come. It is, what is it, like March? I got to this spot a couple days ago and I was going for my walk. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye to the desert for the year. The weathers are getting a lot warmer. It's been in the 80s the last couple of days. It's supposed to be up to 88 today. And uh, I think it's just time for me to slowly start wandering up north. Uh, as the weather changes and snow melts, I'll be able to start traveling further north and going to trees. I've been here four months. I got here this part of the, this part of the desert. You know, the winters, I usually hang around Arizona, Nevada, California, and I've been here since before Christmas. So it's uh, definitely time for me to, to start moving on. Although I've enjoyed, I haven't done a lot of traveling in the last two, two and a half, three, actually three months, I guess, four months <laughs> since I got here. I haven't really done a lot of traveling. I've been catching up on rest after three years of nonstop traveling, including my trip to Alaska last year and then losing Capone and just really being uh, out of sorts with the grief and really just needing to get caught up on work and resting. Although I haven't been doing a lot of resting. I'm kind of working double time right now for my big trip. Um, yeah, so it's time to say goodbye to the desert. I love the desert, but after four or five months, I get sick of it. How long is, has it? Three, four months. I've down, been down here four months. And for all the new viewers who may have just been tuning in the last couple of months and you want to see something besides desert, subscribe below and uh, hang out with me as I explore the world, <laughs> the country at least, and uh, definitely go places besides the desert. I'll put a link to season one's playlist up above where I traveled to Florida and back and went to Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Louisiana, West Virginia, Kentucky, did I say Tennessee, North Carolina, uh, a lot of states east of the Mississippi and uh, check out those. I actually still have videos, believe it or not, of like Smoky Mountain National Park that I never made. I shot video, but I never made them into videos because as many of you know, um, always I'm always far behind between traveling full time and making videos full time. Um, I shoot a lot and don't always have the time to make them into videos. Many of you know how, how hard I work on my videos and how long it takes to, to make some videos. So anyway, just I'm hitting the road today. Saying goodbye to the desert until next year. What do you think? You guys gonna miss it? <laughs> this is a nice spot here. First time here, right on the border of uh, California and Mexico. Not too bad, I've been here a couple of nights. Today I'm heading to Anza Borrego State Park in California. I'm hoping to see some super bloom. So the bloom happens every year and that's basically just when the wildflowers bloom. And the last couple of years because the Southwest has had so much rain and cooler temperatures, the blooms have been just magnificent because they well, the wildflowers have been fed by all the rains and so when they bloom, it's just amazing. It's super. And uh, I'm gonna go, it's probably the tail end of it, but I've been really wanting to avoid the crowds. And so it's Monday, so I'm gonna head over today. And um, I plan on spending a little bit of time there before heading up to who knows where. I'll let you know when I get there.
you choose to take the road, sister, sing. Imagine all the words becoming real. Together we'll be free. It's not just so, uh, you and me. Just going into Anza Borrego, heading toward Borrego Springs. And uh, it's a huge OHV area, off-highway vehicle, lots of trails. There's a huge wash down here to the left. I'm not seeing any blooms yet. <laughs> it's all pretty just sandy. There's not a lot of uh, vegetation yet. But I remember the spot that I went to a couple years ago. There was a dry lake bed. There should be some vegetation up there. I'm still about 15, probably 17 or 18 miles from my final destination. So we'll see. Pretty. I remember stopping here a couple years ago and taking video of the washes over here. It kind of reminded me a little bit of the Badlands. And what is it? Where are the Badlands? South Dakota, I think. I went there on a road trip in my first road trip to out to California when I moved to California. So, uh, gosh, it was 1989, I guess. But I haven't been back since in my RV life. I would like to do that someday. I was heading I thought was different than the place I had been and it isn't it's the exact same place and um, it's crowded and I don't really want to camp around a lot of people so I came down here this is where I camped last time and uh, there's no internet down here which would be fine I guess except that I've got to make a phone call tomorrow and I need a cell signal for that, and I really just kind of want to stay for a couple of days. I don't want to just get situated here for one night and then have to move tomorrow morning, no less. Uh, I really would like to find a spot and stay for at least a couple of days. So I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna go up the road a little ways. I don't know that I have ever been beyond this road. I'm gonna see what I can find. I think the cell tower is up around the bend, actually. So if I can find something a little further up toward Borrego Springs. Yeah, I have no idea. This is a state park, so I'm not sure how much boondocking is legal, you know, or whether boondocking is legal throughout the park. So, anyway, I'm just gonna go explore, even though I am super tired. I did not sleep at all last night. Stupid menopause insomnia thing sucks. <laughs> uh, so, 
I'll go down the road a little ways and um, explore and see what I can find. And if not, I guess I can come back here and camp among the people. Although it's pretty crowded. So this is Rock Hill, Rock something campground in Anza Borrego. It's an actual free campground, free dispersed dry camping campground. And beyond it is uh, camping too, but there's no internet down there. So you can see that it's pretty crowded. If I can find a spot away from people, I might just stay here. But you can see it's pretty packed in. And I don't like walking out my door and being able to see people. It just isn't fun for me. <laughs> I mean, you know, if they're off in a distance, but I don't want to see people just like right around my camp. I'll go down the road and see what I can find. Okay, so I'm back on Borrego Road. I've already been down this road once and I saw some roads that go off into the desert and uh, there's people camped out there. So I'm gonna find, oh, I just passed a good one, shoot. All right, so I'm gonna find a road and go explore and we're gonna find camp, Woohoo! <laughs> I always like it when things work out and I find the perfect spots. Okay, bye. This isn't perfect, but it's pretty sandy and I'm not gonna drive around a whole lot and risk getting stuck. Oh, you know what? There were places, be, there were places back there um, that had a lot more, that had a lot more rigs, a lot more RVs, so I could probably pull in there. Hmm, do I wanna go explore a little bit more or do I just wanna stay here? I think I might go explore a little bit more. This is awful close to the road. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out one of those other spots. night maybe a couple got a little hairy <laughs> it's sandy around here although it, it's not super deep sand but um, of course I was being careful I don't want to get stuck in the sand again this year not so much and I've really learned how to I really learned how to drive in the sand despite all the times I've gotten stuck or because of all the times I've gotten stuck and um, so that really helped just low gear don't turn Go smooth and steady. Try not to turn if you don't have to. Just go straight and don't stop. Just kind of keep going at a slow speed. Go through it. And I think my all-terrain tires really helped too. And again, it wasn't that deep. So uh, no problemo. All right. I am exhausted. I might actually try to take a nap. I'm going to have some lunch. And welcome to Anza Borrego. Lunch today is tofu scramble, which is like scrambled eggs. You saute garlic and onions in a little vegan butter. Add pressed, somewhat pressed tofu and a whole bunch of spinach. And then I've got gluten-free toast with vegan butter. And this is lunch today. It's so cool to walk through wildflowers of the desert. This is really pretty. The most 
abundant ones here. The yellow ones is yellow peppergrass. And then the purple ones are patches of phacelia, I think. Phacelia, I think is how you pronounce it. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of cactus around. And the ones I have seen, like the Akatillo, are just starting to bloom. But they're not yet in bloom. And then there is the desert lily, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm not sure if I missed it or if I'm early. But I don't mind. This is quite beautiful. I am here in mid desert bloom in Anza Borrego State Park in Southern California. Well, kind of, sort of. I think I missed the big super bloom as they call it. In the years that the desert gets a lot of rain, the wildflowers in the spring are supposed to bloom really magnific magnificently. And this is the second year in a row there was supposed to be a bit of a super bloom, but I think I missed it a little bit. Uh, I'm here about a week before spring. Yeah, about a week before spring. And while there definitely are some beautiful wildflowers around, I don't know that I saw the height of it, but that's okay. Without, I, I got here a little bit late on purpose because I wanted to skip the crowds. And it's beautiful here. And I love it here. As you can tell, I'm maybe I'm on a, a dry lake bed. And this is a spot that I've camped at before that I really enjoy. I got here a few days ago and camped so down here by the lake bed, there is no cell signal at all. So I have no internet, which has been really nice. I haven't been off grid in a while. And so I've been off grid now for like three days and I'm really starting to feel just the relaxation. Uh, internet's evil. <laughs> You know, without the internet, I wouldn't have a job, but, uh, it, it, you know, with uh, like anything else in life, it's got its pros and its cons for sure. And getting off grid once in a while and turning off the computer and getting off the internet and away from the news and the nasty and the ugly and everything is just really good. Ooh, it's really good for the soul. But I got here a few days ago and had to get a video uploaded and not even a half a mile from here, I have a really great internet signal, good enough that I was able to even load a video, but then I came down here and enjoyed some peace and quiet. Uh, it's a Saturday, so it's a little bit more crowded here than it's been since I've been here. I actually have uh, one camper next to me. I have another camper that got here a couple of days ago. And other than that, I've had it all to myself. So Anza Borrego by Borrego Springs is a beautiful place to camp and I've gone on a couple of really nice hikes. I went, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, I went exploring, you can't see over there. There is a, a structure that I've been wanting to check out. So I did like a almost a seven mile hike yesterday over to check that out and it was private property. That was kind of a bummer. <laughs> it is indeed private property. Bummer. Somebody lives there. Can you see it? Out there. Pretty cool. Nice place to live, except in the summer. And my RV is way out there, three and a half miles or so. This is kind of my last hoorah, my last hoorah, my last big raw. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Uh, I'm kind of done with the desert. A few days ago, not even here, uh, it was getting really warm and I was like, okay, I'm done. That's it. I'm done with the desert. And so this is kind of my last stop in Southern California before I, or this is my last stop in the South before I head on to my next adventure. 
And if you want to know what that is, you're going to have to subscribe below because I'm going to be making that big announcement sometime at the end of April. I'm going to be doing a video premiere. I don't know if any of you have ever taken part of that. It's something new that YouTube rolled out several months ago. And basically, I'm going to be able to schedule the video ahead of time and uh, send out a link so that you have a link to join when it when it publishes and then I'm going to be able to chat with you while we watch the video together. So I thought that would be a really good, a really fun way to do my big announcement. That way I can chat with you and, and share in hopefully your excitement about it and answer any questions that you might have about it. So stay tuned, subscribe for that. That's coming at the end of April, if not before. Okay, I hope you enjoyed Anza Borrego. And if you did, and if you want a lot more fun adventure, philosophical life stuff, <laughs> be sure to subscribe below. And if you want insider information and first access to what's going on a lot of times in my life, be sure to check out Patreon over here. And I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon.